Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers and this one is actually pretty nice. It is the ultimate Unreal Engine sci-fi creators kit, although that Unreal Engine part is actually a bit misleading because this is a fab bundle uh, and some of these assets, probably about 50% are also available for Unity and of course you can export them out and run, run them in another game engine such as Godot, but out of the box I say almost all of the characters such as this guy right here, that has Unity and Unreal Engine. The environments however, things like this one are only going to run in uh, the Unreal Engine unless you export them out. It's so basically it's a collection of sci-fi oriented assets. We have both characters and then environments and then also we have got a couple of sound effect packs mixed in there as well. Organized into tiers, you buy a hard value tier, you get all the stuff below it. Uh, you decide how your money is allocated. No longer is there a slider for Game From Scratch, but don't worry if you use my link, you are still helping to support me and I really appreciate it. So let me show you what I mean in terms of how this bundle works. So if we go and look over here, this is my fab library. So I actually have redeemed these already and you're going to notice um, that we've got a number of different assets in here. So for example here, this modular starter pack, this one is for uh, the Unreal Engine. But what you'll find is if you go into one of these characters, such as this one I'm going to show you in a second, it is Unreal Engine and Unity. This is the joy of FAP. It is going to be for more game engines. So basically, if it is a character in this pack, so about 25 of the items here are available for Unity as well. If you're dealing with an environment, uh, there are actually ways to export those out to other game engines, uh, such as, for example, the excellent Unreal to Godot plugin. I will have guides down below. So what you see here, this is the um, mech and pilot thing. And you can idea of how good these characters actually are. So you can see there is the pilot and there is the mech. But if we look over here, the pilot is completely modular with a whole bunch of like greebles and such to build it. So you got kind of the layering levels that you can work on to create it. I don't really know what this is. I don't know if it's just a scaled down version of the mechs over here. Uh, but you got the full size mechs over here. And then of course down here, we have these little semi mechs as well. So if you want to create a sci-fi style game, you got again, a number of different heads you can swap in as well. So these characters are actually really high quality and they actually, uh, they do a, sort of a poor job of selling just how good they are in the um, thumbnails you see inside of the asset itself. So that is uh, the, the mech and pilot. Again, if we go back over here, you'll see this, for example, is available on Unity as well. You could also export it out to Godot or whatever. The license does allow you to do that. All right, so that is one of the characters. Come down here. We're going to take a look at one of the environments instead. This is a moon base environment. So let's go look at the uh, look at the overview first so you get an idea of how these environments are built. They're basically built out of modular pieces. And you can see here, so if you do export this out, by the way, stuff like this, the shaders, that you're going to have to recreate. But stuff like this, static meshes, super easy to get out and into other game engines if you're interested. So these are all of the little pieces that go together as well as the various different materials that were used to create this. Now I got to warn you, this demo has a lot of bloom. And I mean a lot of bloom. There we go. Bloom in hell. So yeah, this environment, very bloomy. Oops, went out into the main world. All right, so here we go. Let's go take a look around. So you get an idea, it is a sci-fi uh, moon base interior, gives you an idea of, again, fully modular for creating this sort of setup. I did export this out pretty flawlessly other than some of the weird textures uh, over to uh, the Godot game engine as an example. And I did use the Unreal to Godot to do that. So that is one of the environments. Go ahead and check out another one of the environments. It's actually kind of interesting. This is words you never expected to use together. Sci-fi fruit seller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so let's go ahead and check that one out. This is actually a really, really high detailed example. They have a lower resolution version as well. That gives you an idea. There is uh, a sci-fi fruit seller's environment. So everything you, you you need to see to make an environment like this. Again, you can, uh, you can just grab the pieces that you need, obviously. Uh, so gives you an idea of uh, another one of the world environments. There's one more world environment I'll show you quickly. This is the sci-fi workstation. So let's open that one up quickly. And here again, it's a workstation. Very sci-fi, very glowy, very bloomy. Uh, gives you an idea of what's going on there. And we'll do a quick check. There's the overview, all the various different pieces that go together to create said environment. Um, yeah, and then here's overview numero two. Do. Uh, again, more pieces if you want to create different kind of terminals. So you've got medicine or military or whatever that you could swap out uh, to make that work. And let's go check out, uh, I don't remember what this one actually is. I hope I've actually loaded it already. 
so this is the sci-fi starter pack and seems to be another base type environment the reflections are super high on this one but uh, again if you're trying to create a sci-fi world you got a nice mix of environments here as well as characters let's go check out one more character so what have i not shown here i'll show the dystopia oh no 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 i'll show the robots uh so we got quad robot here uh this one i think is unreal engine only it's one of the few characters that seems to be that way uh this is the flamethrower robot gives you an idea of what that kind of stuff looks like and then the coolest thing here is the animations that come with it so you get an idea so we got a variety of search and destroy and walk type animations going on here but i like the second set of animations better which is the robot fall down animations Blop. <laughs> i don't know i don't know why i found that so amusing but i actually did all right so that's it for the hands-on portion this again is the ultimate unreal engine sci-fi creators kit uh they do say unreal engine here but once again if you go check these things out since they redeem on fab uh anything with this m3 as an example all of these they all are um, also available for the Unity game engine. This one isn't M3. And as you can see, those ones are Unreal Engine only. All the environments are Unreal Engine only as well. Uh, but you can, export un you can export static environments outside of Unreal Engine to other game engines. Super, super simple. So you can actually think of this as more than just an Unreal Engine bundle. It truly applies in this case. By the way, speaking of bundles, there's a couple of other ones I want to bring attention to uh, that aren't necessarily great, uh, but you're probably interested in them. The first one, this sounds amazing. It's the uh, Math for Programmers 2024 bundle. People love math books. Uh, unfortunately, it's not really game developer focused. Uh, so you have some things in here you may be interested in, which is why I'm mentioning to you, uh, but it's not as good as it could be. So we've got grokking data structures, uh, we've got um, math for programmers down here, and then another one for pro geometry for programmers. Those would be useful for game developers, not really game developer specific books. The, almost the rest of this stuff is all, all about like AI, quantum computing, deep learning, that kind of math. And then the other one here that we've got, and I didn't know if I should cover this one or not. It doesn't seem to be that popular, uh, but there's this Shape Lab Creator Kit bundle that just launched as well. Again, they haven't really sold too many of them, uh, but this is for a 3D sculpting tool that you work with in VR. Um, again, you can also use it on desktop mode. It's a perpetual license, but you're only going to get updates until the end of the year. So you're also getting 50% off towards the next year's subscription if you're interested in it. And generally, a perpetual license is only about a little bit cheaper, about $10 cheaper than the, sorry, $10 more expensive than what this bundle is. Plus, you're also getting uh, a guide here to creating stuff, some high poly 3D dinosaurs and so on. Uh, so it's another bundle that's out there. I just don't know how interested you guys would be. If you want to see me do a dedicated video, about Shape Lab, let me know. Probably not going to cover it, but if you're interested enough, I may be able to do so. But I did want you to know that that bundle is out there. But again, the star of the show and some really nice stuff here. Uh, if you're into sci-fi, great bundle. And then once again, you're going to find, if you head on over here to Fab, a lot of these are actually for Unity as well. And majority of these things could be exported out to Godot or other engines. I've got links to all of those exporting processes down below as well. All right, that's it. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.